The fuel pressure regulator is located right here. Here we've got the fuel rail with the injectors. So the purpose of this is to keep a constant pressure on the fuel rail, no matter of what's the load on the engine, because when the computer opens the injectors, it cannot measure how much fuel is coming out of the injectors, but it's gonna measure how long time the injector is gonna be opened. So the computer needs to know that the fuel pressure here is gonna be constant. The fuel pressure regulator is quite an important component. So before removing and inspecting it, let's go ahead and check some live data. And it looks like we've got very healthy long-term fuel trim and short-term fuel trim. Anything plus or minus 5%, it's considered very good. If it goes up to 10% or beyond 10%, you probably get already a check engine light. Usually what you want to see, the long-term fuel trim should be stable and it shouldn't fluctuate, especially when the engine is idling. The short-term fuel trim can go up and down for a couple of percents. Now let's increase the engine RPM and see more clear what's going on in there. Okay. So it looks like when the engine is decelerating, the fuel delivery is cut. First, let's take out this intake hose. Now to remove it from here, it's easy, but when installing it back, we need more space here so we can press on it. So this is how this little thing will work. It's connected to a vacuum line. And when, for example, the engine is idling, we know that the vacuum is at the highest point. The engine is using less fuel, so it's going to return that pressure through this line. There is a line connected back here. And actually, this is the line here. Now, let's say the engine is under a load and you accelerate somewhere uphill. The turbocharger is going to pressurize the intake manifold and the vacuum will basically disappear. Now the fuel pressure regulator is not activated and the whole pressure created by the fuel pump is gonna stay into the fuel rail. Long story short, that's how the fuel pressure regulator works. So next, let's see how to remove it from here. Okay, so I'm gonna actually remove this hose. Let's disconnect this vacuum line from here. I think the best is to remove this hose, vacuum hose. Now all we have is this seal clip. If you have this seal clip installed this way, then you're definitely gonna struggle. Like why you don't install it this way? Gently pry it out, do not force it. Especially if you want to, especially if you want to reinstall it. Here is the part number if you need it. It's 02801605625. Inside there you can see the channel on the side which comes from the fuel rail and the channel right there which goes to the fuel return line. Now let's clean it up here because we're gonna install this back. Make sure that the o-rings on the regulator are sealing. They need to be above these two surfaces. Actually you will feel it when you want to install it. Let's place the seal clip which goes a lot better other way around so you can remove it as well and reconnect everything back all right so that was it about this pressure regulator thanks for watching check out the other videos i made about this renault clio and i will see you in the next video